Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing something actually a little bit different. So today, um, we're going to be trying something that's been suggested in the comment section of a certain video that's like four years old, and the creator never actually did it, so I think I'm going to do it. So what, there, so what the commenter's idea was, and I don't remember the commenter's name, um, was that they were going to destroy like Windows 7. Or Windows Vista and like try copying over the files of Windows 7 to Windows Vista and seeing if it restores it because like there was a video like if Windows X where the guy destroys Windows XP copies the system files back over and it still works but someone were saying that you could make OS combinations if you were to combine these two so what I've done is I've purposely picked out very similar systems and we're gonna see um, if it works. Well, Windows 7 and Windows Vista is a they're pretty similar operating systems. Windows 7, um, Windows 7 is pretty much it's more stable than Vista. Um, it's more stable than Vista, but it's still NT6. Um, it's still you know. I guess we're just gonna click next. Next. New apply. <laughs> okay, so apparently Vista has higher system requirements than than Windows 7. Um, let me fix that by expanding the disk. You probably can't see this right now. How do I expand it? Come on, just like got the way. Ah, whatever. New hard drive. We'll create a new disk. We'll make it like. I don't know, I'll add, I'll add a gigabyte to it, that should be enough. Alright, okay, run. Alright, Windows is loading files. <laughs> ah, not a good start, not a good start, I'll say that. Anyway, um, once I get this going, I'll cue the time lapse. You know what, screw it. Just cue the time lapse now.
Okay, so they've both finally installed after like... Gosh, it's been like an hour. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish this business later. It took way longer than I thought it was going to. And I kinda... I've kind of been burnt out just waiting for it. So yeah, see you um, eventually. Hello, so... It's the next day, as I said. And now, I'm gonna finally actually do the destruction for real. As soon as Vista starts up. Okay, so what... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Con is I'm gonna, um... So I'm gonna make a shared drive for both of these machines to connect to. Um, yeah. So the Vista one is the one that's gonna stay intact. Um, yeah, the Vista one's gonna, is the one that's gonna stay intact. And I just realized um, I need to connect this to a host-only network. So to a host-only network. There we are. As soon as this one starts up. <laughs> In case you haven't been able to see already, my computer doesn't like running multiple virtual machines at once. So, this one... There we are. There goes Windows Vista. And host only. Connect. Let's see. Let's open up a file explorer here. And we're gonna make a shared folder on this machine. There we go, get out of here. So we're gonna make a shared folder. Right click, properties, sharing, advanced sharing. Yes, share this folder, C, okay. All right, well, what's this computer's name? W this to user PC. We might have to, yeah. So we're just gonna do W this to user PC slash W this to user. There we are, and now it should load. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, well, permissions, everyone, full control. Okay, so, all right, so I guess we're gonna have to make an account. Um, yeah, so let's control panel. Add or remove user accounts. Create a user account. Actually, no, I need something I can type, so I'll just type 87. Um, there we are. Create account. Add a password. Create a password. There we go. Let's make a nice, strong password. All right. So now we add you to the sharing. Permissions add. So, what's the name of this computer again? Yeah. W Vista User PC 87. Yes! Okay. So now we are going to map the network drive to the Z folder. Okay. Okay. 
Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, everyone. The final countdown where I do this absolute insanity. So, um, hold on a second. Actually, never mind. I'll do it in post. Um, so run as administrator. Now, here we go. RD slash, or RDC slash S slash Q. Go! That was pretty quick. So, um, I feel like I did something wrong. Maybe it needs to have a slash. Yeah, that's what it was. It needs to have a slash. All right. Um, like I said, I haven't destroyed a Windows machine in a long time because you know, why would I need to do that? <laughs> It's not like, oh, I've woken up, time to break a Windows machine. <laughs> it's just not how I roll. You know, it's a little nerve-wracking hearing my real hard drive cricking, but I know that's just because it's accessing the virtual hard drive, but it's still a little nerve-wracking. <laughs> Internet Explorer's gone. Uh, yeah, media player's gone. Mm. It'll be interesting. Um, it's a good thing I have a file explorer window open. I need to be able to access the Z, the Z drive. Does any of the programs here work? Let's try, um, actually, now that it's being destroyed, it probably would have been a good idea to, to try this beforehand. Windows Photo Gallery. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is just because it's being destroyed or it, no it no it, the vista version does work <laughs> kind of surprisingly enough windows calendar i wonder why they got rid of that that sounds like it'd be useful hmm. i might try that on my windows well the reason they probably got rid of that was because it can't be synced up with like an iphone all right so the destruction is done Definitely. I mean, like, the clocks probably don't even work. No, the clock does work. So what I'm doing now is extremely stupid. Extremely stupid. So I'm going to do x copy. So x copy works. So what was the command? So let's go to the x copy documentation. Alright, so x copy. So slash c. That seems like something we'd want. Slash c. Slash e. slash h slash r. Okay. So, alright, so source destination. So source is going to be z and how do I say no overwrite? z c. Alright, go. <laughs> Invalid drive specification. Uh, z c invalid dr drive specification. Okay, maybe I'm an idiot. Um, Z, invalid number of parameters. Okay, C, win, windows, Z, windows, invalid drive specific, Z. Oh, we have to open a new non-administrator command line. Oh man, we got we gotta have these freaking files. Oh. Think how would I do this? How am I going to do this? Right, so we got Z, right? Right. Right. Wait, hold on. What I can do 
is, hold on, Windows Drive Mount CMD. So what would that be? That would be net use. Okay, good. So that's that's good. Good, good, good. W Vista user PCC. Net use slash per persis persistent. Yes. Net use. Jeez. Can I not type? Alright. Um Gotta put in. All right, let's do X. All right, so X. Yes. Okay. So back to the X copy commands. <laughs> X copy. X C slash C slash E slash H slash R. No. No. Okay, so we're in SysWow 64 now, which at least we're finally out of the behemoth that System32. Um, I don't, I don't have the System32 folder memorized, um, but I'm not sure what's after SysWow 64. But I know SysWow, SysWow 64 is where they store the 32-bit applications, and System32 is where they store the 64-bit applications. Confusing? Definitely. All right, so it's finished now. Let's try rebooting it and see if it survives. But before we do that, let's, um, well, that's back. I just want to take a little bit of a look around just in case, you know, it doesn't come back. So it looks like some stuff actually did get back. Oh, Internet Explorer is back. Windows Media Player? No, that's not back. Um, yeah, interesting, very interesting, Windows, Welcome Center, wow, okay, so that's the Windows 7 Welcome Center, I just want to take a look around, Windows Calendar, yeah, I don't, I don't, was that there before? I honestly can't remember if that was there before, um, that bar though, that's a Vista bar, that's, I know for sure, so that's, this looks like 7 still, um, this PC, yeah, that looks about right. Um, see, what else was not working? I didn't really pay much attention. But you know the big thing that's not working, that w won't work after destruction, rebooting. Let's try that. Oh, cool, Vista screensaver. Oh, starting Windows? Is it? Holy <laughs> This actually works. <laughs> oh, no it doesn't. As I expected. Yeah, there was no way that was going to work. You know, let's try startup repair. Let's see if... Oh. <laughs> that... That was interesting, though. So, yeah, that was... That was a fun experiment. So, anyway... Thank you guys for watching and uh, take care.